Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fires Builders Workshop. As we continue on our new series for 2022, we're going to go through what we're going to be covering this year. So last year we focused on the original design of the Ben Peterson uh, from the Wood Gas Fires Builders Bible. Uh, this year we're going to focus on our V3 enhanced version and uh, we're going to go through a series of videos, step by step, build instructions for this. So the first step, when you look at it, you can say it looks very similar, and it does since it was based on that initial design, but as we go through the videos, you're going to see that there are a lot of uh, enhancements and improvements that we've made to this design. Um, so basically before we start our build process, I just want to kind of go through some just general things for you. First off is, you know, this uh, gasifier is a highly functional gas fire. It's going to serve you well into the future where you can get and build your own uh, fuel uh, for years to come. Um, but it's not necessarily an easy build. It's, it's, uh, it can be quite intimidating. Those of you that had the book, uh, lots of people talked to me, said they bought the book, but they were still too intimidated to try the build. Um, there is a lot to it. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you can get the book, follow directions, and still not have a successful build. So what we're going to do with the workshop is we're going to take this process and we're going to break it down into small manageable parts to guarantee that you, you're going to have a successful build in the end and you're going to have a gas fire that's going to serve you well into the future. Uh, so some of the things that you're going to do, um, and also not just the gas fire itself, but the build process, we, we're hopefully... Uh, can improve on the build process itself. So unlike the book, which we, they dive right into the uh, start building on the reactor, which is the most complicated part of the build, um, one of the enhancements that we've made is make this thing modular. So um, all the separate pieces like the base, the reactor, the cooling assembly, the condensate, filter tank, gas exit, these are all separate modules, separate sub-assemblies. So really, you can build this in any order that you want. And those of you that are experienced fabricators and welders, you know, you might want to go ahead and dive right on in to the uh, reactor. But I think the majority of people that I talk to uh, that are going to be tackling this is it's quite intimidating. So the way that I'm recommending is that we start with the sub-assemblies. Start with something that's a little less critical. Let you get your equipment dialed in. You know, we're going to start off messing with the base. It's all structural welds. And then we'll move on to the cooling assembly. And then we'll move on to the condensate. Each of these, it'll get a little bit more complex as we go forward. There'll be leak testing involved. And then we're going to save the most complicated uh, part of the build for last, which is the reactor tank and the heat exchange. But by the time you get to that, uh, I think you'll have everything dialed in. You'll be a lot, I have a lot of confidence in your welds. You'll know, you'll know the critical welds from the non-critical welds, the structural welds. So I think by the time we get to that point, uh, you'll feel much more confident in your ability to do it. So, but basically I just want to kind of show you before we start the, the series of all the sub-assemblies, this is what we're going to build. And uh, if we follow directions on this, you can build this gas fire. It's going to be a great production gas fire. It's going to serve you well into the future. So just some general overview of what, what we're looking at here. We basically have two tanks. The tank on the left is the reactor tank with the heat exchange box attached to it. The tank on the, on the right is the filter, and within there we've got a filter basket that holds all the filter media. On the bottom, we've got a, a, a base, and this is set up on wheel good steel caster wheels. On the base, we have the switch box that controls the, uh, the, the power for the blower and the power for the grate. You could add a, a glow plug ignition on that. We have a variable speed control on the blower. We've got a, a external battery box, which you can put a battery in because everything is run on a 12-volt system. Um, as we look around the back, you'll see we've got, we've got the cooling assembly. And then coming down on the bottom there, we've got the uh, condensate tube. And coming around on this side, excuse that noise in the background. We've got a street sweeper going on over here. We've got the filter tank. The filter basket inside. We've got the uh, gas exit assembly that contains the blower that uh, takes the gas to the flare. And then we've got the secondary output that's going to go to your secondary application, which could be an engine, a vehicle. 
Um, but each of these, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each subassembly. Like I say we're going to start with the base, work our way through, and save the most complicated for last. Um, we found that that's, that's very good in building your confidence and uh, the quality of the build. And then since it is a modular system, basically all the subassemblies are going to come together. And then we're going to go through, we'll finish up the series. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do some video on painting it, wiring it, uh, doing the final assembly, insulating it, and so on. And then probably uh, finish off with uh, some operational uh, running the gasifier and some tips and, on that. But I just want to show you, basically this is what we're going to be building. And uh, if you're inclined to try to do it yourself, I think you're going to find this... Uh, series very useful. For those of you that subscribed, stay tuned. We appreciate it. For those who aren't subscribed, um, please feel free to subscribe. You're going to see a lot of valuable information here. Even if you're not building this specific design, I think you're going to find a lot of useful content that's going to really help you in your gasifier build to ensure that you've got a successful build. Uh, so anyways, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys, let you know this is what we're going to be building. And yes, you can build this gasifier. Just stay tuned and we'll help you get there. Thanks a lot.